Welcome back to my playthrough of Blood and Wine, everybody. Thank you for joining me again. We're here in uh, these catacombs beneath a cemetery in Beauclair. And in the last episode, uh, we completed a quest called... Hmm, where is it? I com we completed a quest, and I thought that they had finally fixed this where they put the most recent quest up here at the top, but it doesn't look like they're doing that, so... If I were to uh, look for the quest we just did, I'd have to scroll through here. Yeah, I don't see it. How about that? Uh, well, that's kind of a bummer. But, um, yeah, I can't believe after all this time they've never fixed this. But it was a treasure hunt. Oh, wow, the music just suddenly decided to play. There was a treasure hunt. And we completed it, and that's why we're down here. And I was going to stick around down here and do a little bit of exploring, but I think what I want to do instead is go back upstairs and go outside uh, in case there's... in case the mission sends me back here, if that makes any sense at all. Probably doesn't. So the quest that we're doing right now is um, this Till Death Do You Part quest. We're doing it because we're here. While strolling through Beauclair's charmingly romantic streets, Geralt learned of a circumstance thoroughly charmless and unromantic. Come night, something was making such tastelessly grating noise at the city cemetery. So we're supposed to wait till dusk. Could also search the cemetery for the source of the noises, I guess. Another thing we could do. Um, there was a grave digger over here somewhere. I saw him earlier and I kind of wanted to go talk to him. Just to see if he had anything to say. Yeah, this guy right here. He's somebody we can't talk to. Let's see. Okay. He has nothing to say and uh, he's kind of like stuck in the ground there, which is kind of weird. But as far as searching the cemetery... I don't know if there's anything else for us to look for up here. Because um, the wait till dusk is something different. Here's something here. What's going on here? Graves dug up. Thing is, grave robbers don't usually wail and moan that much. Not that much. Graves dug up. Thing is, grave robbers don't Whoa. usually wail and moan that much. I could loot this. Ashes and a candle. Uh, you know, I don't think I'm interested in either one of those. See if there's anything else around here we could look at. Locked. Locked. So yeah, we're just gonna kinda poke our head around here and Matina Gate. Huh. New marker showed up, and I thought I saw something we could read. Death, the ultimate in solitude and freedom. Should be a price after that one. <laughs> okay. Locked. Locked. I wonder if these are going to open at any one point. Who made that noise? Oh, a little girl running by there. So, just going to look around here with our Witcher senses to see if we see anything else. I mean, I guess maybe we should also search... Uh, till the wine barrels run dry. There is no tomorrow. Yeah, maybe we should search underground too to see if there's anything under there that maybe may is could make noise. Couple of boys here at the cemetery. That's pretty sad. Oh, here's something. Smashed padlock. Someone broke in. Huh. I keep Lots hoping. Of tracks. Oh. Not much I can glean from them though. I keep hoping that um that gotta come back after dark. Okay. Okay, good, it did. Huh. Alright. I was hoping that that uh, search around with your Witcher senses would go away. And it did. So, I guess this is as good a time as any to uh, go downstairs and search around down here. Why not? Um, we'll just go down here and check this place out while we wait for nighttime to fall. It's 12.05 p.m. right now. So, we'll just go down here, look around. Do some looting, because uh looked like there was some pretty good stuff to loot down here. 
And this place is looking pretty big. And uh, confusing, even. There's some bones over here. Ashes, I don't need that. I'm good on ashes. Oh gosh, this place. Some more stuff over here. Oh, some good stuff. Oh, another body here. Ashes, I'll take the florins, I don't need the ashes. Huh, I'm despicable. I can't even stand to look at myself. Carol, what's wrong with you looting from dead people? There's some more stuff in here. Look at this place. Weird. Formula. Formula for mutagen transmutator blue to red. And a parchment. Okay. So we could transmutate our mutagens. Well, there's all kinds of good stuff down here. Oh, yeah. I mean, it looks good. Huh. Alright. I'm gonna take it, because it... Looks like stuff I don't remember seeing in the game before. Different new stuff. So this will take us back out. Boy, I completely missed this door. When I came in here the first time. Let's see what's down here. Can't loot that? Can't loot any of this stuff in here. Oh man, this place keeps going. This is a dead end though. At least I think it is. Oh, there's a door. It's locked though. It's probably one of those doors we just saw in the cemetery up above. It's pretty neat. Well, suddenly there's nothing to loot. What the heck? Alright, we'll leave this room then. There's more to see back here. So we go down those stairs, or we could go here. Search this big room. I think I already looked in this big room. Yeah, I must have. There's nothing to loot. Oh, I take it back. A gold casket. Some florins. This is great. <laughs> you ever need some extra cash, just come to the cemetery and people just leave coins here, you know. Loot here. Oh, a formula for yellow armor dye. Some dye remover. Whoa. Oh, I heard a door open and shut. That's uh, a little spooky. So there's another way to go there. Where does this take us? Digging this music. Oh, what's this place? Interesting. Well, uh, more to loot in here. Why does this look so weird on the map? Huh. Guess that's water. Yeah, I'll take that stuff. I don't know why you wanted to be buried with that stuff anyway. It's not gonna do you any good. Runestone, Florins. I'm not proud of this looting. But it's such good stuff. Here's another door here. Also locked. I wonder if it's possible to get the key for those doors. Alright, a little bit more to explore here. And then maybe we'll meditate and wait for, um,. Nighttime. What's that? Hit him harder. What was that? Did you see that? You What's going on here? Find work here? Not paying work, that is. Some grave robbers. What's this all about? 
What are you guys doing? Come to visit your grandpa's grave, I guess. What the poking devils? Who are you? Who sent you? So many questions, so few answers. Blimey, you have a plumbing philosopher. <laughs> Get the swarmy cat diddler, lads. If I only had a crown for every time a bunch like this. Right. And, uh, we start off with some good old fire. Because I'm lazy. And I just like to watch the world burn. Look at that. I mean, really, why use anything else? Hey, guys, look. <laughs> Here's some more. I'll have to go ahead and take this guy out. Oh yeah, throw some strong attacks in there. And we'll loot him, and um, we'll loot him, and we'll loot this guy as well. Black magic doll. Why are you carrying that? So we found some grave robbers, and uh, really they're no better than, uh, or no worse than Geralt himself. Ode to Gwent. Why, let's read Ode to Gwent. Proposal number seven for the Anthem of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. Author Stefan de Duve, Master Cooper. Gwent is like a ruddy wine. Gwent's a knight with a lady fine. When before you two armies clash, your cares melt off in a dash. Then you wish but to play, play, play. But her indoors wines hit the hay, hay, hay. Such minds are dull as muddy yards to think this but a game of cards. Gwent is my liberty. Gwent is my fraternity. Gwent relieves the day's sorrow. And Gwent is my morrow. This is some good stuff. Poker has had it and dice is a bore. There's no other game that makes you want more. There are no better satisfactions greater than Beauclair's bells is its list of attractions greater than even the festival of drinks or even a tipsy young minx they can holler and shout they can release the guards i'm leaving home i'm off to play cards gwent is my liberty gwent is my fraternity gwent relieves the day's sorrow and gwent is my morrow well that was worth the trip down here all by itself let's face it that was great some good stuff See what's in the bag. Toussaint color guardsman's armor. Yeah, we're gonna fill up on inventory here pretty soon, probably. So I'm gonna need to make a stop at a merchant at some point. Hopefully there's some place or places here in Toussaint where I can uh, sell off my stuff. Uh, I think there was, was there another place to go or was, no? down here. There's more stairs here. I want to go down these and see what's going on down here. So I've already been that way, but I haven't gone down these stairs yet. I thought I looted him. Oh, that's right. There's ashes. I don't need that. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't need ashes or rotting flesh. Thank you very much. I'm all filled up. What about over here? Orins. I'll take those. So that's it, huh? Nothing uh, more interesting than that down here. That wasn't that interesting, let's face it. That's kind of boring, even. Okay, well, uh, let's go up top, and uh, we will meditate until nighttime. Actually, it looks like there's still another place I haven't visited in here yet. And it is right in here. Look at this place. Like blood or wax or something on the ground there. Huh, I wonder if this room is going to be important. You think it might be? This looks like an important room. Nothing in here for us yet. Is that uh, St. Lebiota there maybe? Hope I'm getting that name right. Okay, well... We need to just simply uh, wait till dusk. Enough to feed the tykes. 
I'm gonna rest just outside the doors here. And let's see. What's considered dusk? 10 p.m.? That should be pretty good, right? Okay, using your Witcher senses. More fighting. Noises coming from the catacombs, it seems. Okay. Search for the source of the noises in the catacombs. That eh, figures it would be in the catacombs, huh? I don't hear anything, though. I'm scared. I don't want to go down in these scary catacombs. So, noises coming from here. Search the crypt using your Witcher senses. Well, look at this. It's directing us to this room. Not a soul. Strange. Doesn't look anything like a grave hag's lair either. We're still searching. Oh, here's some stuff. Smashed as if someone threw it against the wall. We got a poltergeist? Here lies Margot de Corentin. Margot de Corentin. Hmm, gold. Can't be grave robbers. None worth their salt would have left this. That's a good point. Louis de Corentin died on the day of St. Zoethan's remembrance. Hmm, noises started right around then. Oh, okay. Pretty fresh. Funeral wasn't too long ago. No sign of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. Maybe this isn't the spot after all. Strange. Hmm. Okay. Search for the source of the noises in the catacombs. Well, let's continue doing that. That circle on our mini-map just got a lot bigger. Well, let's go down to the catacombs. Noise is clearly coming from that tomb. Impossible. Huh. It's taking us back in here. Hmm. Something's not right. Need to hide. See how things play out. <laughs> hide to find out what's making the noises. Sit and wait. Let's do just that. Sometime later... You'd rather lie about all day. Flipping those cards like some dwarf! Disgusting tap! Indeed. Far better to stand at the door of Lepiota's temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. In great, I prayed for you that you would cast off the yoke of gambling. <laughs> Fine job you did of it. Seems the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? This is a private conversation. You guys need to need to keep it down. But I'd like to know what they're arguing about instead. What's this argument about anyway? Sort of. Not your concern. Could help you resolve it. I know not your name, but you must help me. I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once! Slow down. What's the problem? This is my crypt. And this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. An eternity of nagging for misery. I was blind and a fool to marry him. He's a slave to the cards, prepared to wager his own child on a round of Gwent. Once, damn it, and as a jest. How many times must I explain? And... Who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Lepioda? Piety. That was my cause. The prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting. How was I to know it was all a fraud? Because I warned you some five hundred times. Quiet. Shut up, both of you. <laughs> uh... Whose crypt is this? Who does the crypt belong to, rightfully? 
Must you ask? It's mine. My family's. The decorant tanks. Are you illiterate? True. But my dowry served to repurchase it from those you owed. Look, if there's to be peace and quiet here, one of you's gotta go. Need to move one of you out. Yes. Take him. Please. Do so. And I shall... I shall tell you where I hit his lucky Gwent cards. What? I knew it was you! And now... You would evict me from my crypt, then pay for the deed with my cards! Blast it all! Had I those very cards at the tournament in Balhaven, I'd still be alive! It's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death! They murdered you for your debts! I had nothing to do with it! Come, I heed this good book-thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself, as soon as you've removed her. <sighs> Need to think about it. All right, gotta move one of them out. Thus spake the prophet Lepiota. Thou shalt not play for coin. After which he promptly added, For you shall have none left for me! <laughs> Heretic, shut your mouth! I shall speak to you no more! No, no, it is I who shall speak to you no more, you old tart! These two are delightful. Let's take a look at our quest and see if there's any new text. The Witcher investigated and discovered that neither grave robbers nor necrophages were the source of the din. Rather, the ruckus was the work of a couple, the de, the de Corintins. For as in life, so in death, they could not abide each other's company, causing much fear and confusion with their shrill disputes. Geralt concluded that separation was the sole sensible solution. He would have to remove one of their remains from the tomb they shared, transferring them elsewhere. So we are to take Lewis or Margot's urn from the crypt. Uh, let's see. Can we talk to him? My apologies, but I'm simply not in the mood. She's not in the mood. My apologies, but I'm simply not in the mood. I shall speak to no one as long as she is in here. Take her away. Okay, so we either um loot his remains, I guess, or oh, jeez, girl, or we loot her remains. Um. I'm not going to put too much thought into this, <laughs> but I'm going to uh, take his remains away and leave hers here just because she was the first one to offer me something. That's the only reason. Get some cool uh, Gwent cards. Urn with ashes of Luis de Currentin. Take. I see you fell for that pious tart dribble. Drax! Ah, oh, well, then listen, I've a request. Be a good fellow and set me in the chamber of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. It's just round the corner. You a member? That's just it. I was not. But I would have dearly liked to have been. And joining them in death shouldn't bother anyone. Certainly doesn't bother me. I'll do it. Where's this chamber? Ah, once you enter the catacombs, go straight. The chamber will be on your right, near the corridor's mouth, and I thank you. That's the least I could do. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was funny. Okay. Well, now we need to find the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair's Chamber, and we know we've already been there because we found the book there before. Deeper in the catacombs. Right, let's go. All right, let's um, let's find this chamber. I'm pretty sure it's the one right here to the right. Go here, and oh, actually. Maybe I don't remember where it was. 
Um, wasn't that way. And crap, man. The book. Oh, heck, I have a line telling me how to get there. <laughs> yeah, I think it was down the stairs, wasn't it? No. It's back here. Okay. Read. Private chamber of the right honorable members of the Gwent Friendship so Society of Beauclair. May they always draw their best. Private chamber. The right honorable members of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. This is it. This is it. Let's find a place for the urn. I'm supposed to search the chamber for a place. So this is where those grave robbers were. But we already cleared them out. Well, I'm looking with my Witcher senses. That oughta do. That oughta do. Oh, sure. Let's put it there. Okay. There right. he is. High time Marco paid up. Let us go collect our reward. Go to uh, Margo first, and then we'll go back to the guy who asked us to investigate in the first place. Geralt's excited. Look at him. He's in a hurry to go get this reward. He wants those Gwent cards. Where's my cards? Where's my cards, Margo? Done. Now where you got those cards? Leaf the city through the Cooper's Gate, then we are right. Our house is easily recognized. A tree atones the sign above the door. I buried the chest in the garden beneath the rose bush. Tree on a sign, rose bush. Think I got it. Bye. Oh. Might I ask? What you did with Louis? True, he knew nothing in life but Gwent, but I would still prefer he not spend eternity in a ditch or privy. Don't worry about it. Found him a nice place. Ought to feel right at home. Farewell. Hmm. Okay. That kind of made me sad. Oh well. They couldn't get along in life. They couldn't get along in death. Now... They could just be alone. Hey, Gravedigger, what's up? <laughs> okay, so uh, we could collect a reward or we could search for this house. And the house isn't that far away, I don't feel like. So, um, why not go f search for the house if I could get out of this uh, place? Yeah, go through these doors. So we'll run through Beauclair here at night. What's this? Arrest warrant. In accordance with Article 161 of the Ducal Code, the Attorney General for the City of Beauclair has designated a reward to be given to whomsoever shall bring before the court one Antoine Stragon, alias Starling, or else provide proof of his passing. Okay. Keep an eye out for that guy, I guess. Looks like maybe there's some shops up above here, but I'm not going to go sell anything. Oh, there's a, another quest over here. <laughs> Let's uh, stop in. Read. Never have you seen such a tournament, for such a tournament's never been held. All lovers of Gwent are invited to come compete against players from all over the world. In addition, this tournament shall be your chance to play the new and exciting Skellige faction. Count Monnier will be expecting you at the Pheasantry. So where is this, um... Quest? In here? You shall find anything better in all Toussaint. Here's a merchant. Welcome, good sir. To Dupont and Sons' emporium of diverse merchandise. Satisfaction guaranteed. Okay. Let's see what's so diverse. Show me what you got back there. 
Ooh, look at this. <laughs> he sells paintings. <laughs> Why would I want to buy this stuff? Okay. Yeah. Spice Merchant, 1212, reproduction. Well, I mean, this stuff isn't very expensive. I mean, maybe... I don't know. We haven't been to our abode yet, that vineyard that we own, that estate. Maybe um, once we get there, there'll be a place to hang paintings and such. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Could be. Could be. So I should probably be keeping a list of people who I could play Gwent with because maybe I'll get cards from them. So I'm going to... Let's see, this guy... Gosh, I don't even know where he is. Merchant. He's in Beauclair. I know that. But um, where in Beauclair? So I'm just going to keep a list of everybody that wants to play cards. And this guy is... He's north... Yeah, yeah, he's uh, north west of Matinagate. So hopefully if I put that in my notes, I will uh, be able to find him. Okay, but I'm not going to play him Gwent right now. But there's still a uh, quest around here somewhere. Can't go upstairs. Can't go that way. So where is this guy? Read. This is Beauclair, not some flea-bitten province. Lazare Lafargue's workshop. Okay. Hey, what's up, dude? Are you the one with the quest? You are, aren't you? What's up, Lafargue? Greetings. A witcher. From the School of the Wolf, here in Tucson. Greetings. I'm Lazar Lafargue. Geralt of Rivia. Seem pretty enthused. Got a job for me? Rather. Mind you, it's no monster hunt, but I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. I'm an armorer, see, and I for years sought diagrams for witch armor of exceptional quality. Grandmaster level. Heard of him? Never seen any, though. Thought they were lost. Not quite. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. If you know where to look, why not get them yourself? No offense, but do I look like a rough-hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No, i rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. Hmm. He can uh, forge master or grandmaster stuff. So, um, let's see what he's got. What do you have on offer? Oh, whoa. What's going on here? Is this, uh... Why do these have X's on them? Required level 41. Wow, it's been a long time since I've seen an item that I can't use. Yelza. Uh, he is extremely rich. So, um... Man, this stuff... Is, uh, comparable to what I'm currently wearing. In a way. I mean, it's, um... Higher... Higher resistance. 81 versus 77. And I'm wearing freaking mastercrafted feline trousers. You mean to tell me that regular old... Toussaint color guardsman trousers are better than the feline trousers that I'm currently wearing. I mean, I know that the feline trousers have some extra stuff, but sheesh. Uh, I'm going to sell this stuff anyway, because I have a feeling this stuff is a dime a dozen. And um, I need to uh, free up some space here, and this guy's rich. So um, we'll just go ahead and sell him this stuff while we're here. Same thing with these uh, swords. These I do not need at all. So we'll just sell off this simple stuff here. He's not interested in torches. Fragrant cake. <laughs> okay, so we sold off some items, freed up some space. Uh, I don't think I'm going to buy anything from him. Certainly not. So let's ask him how these diagrams wound up in Toussaint. 
All these diagrams somehow wound up in Tusa? How is that even possible? Tusa was once home to Tien Sail, a legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. And thus he charged a king's ransom for his work. Witches would take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some, alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. But how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai's side. So I heard the stories of the missing witches firsthand. What he told me, well, that is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. Hmm. Okay. How did you end up apprenticed to an elf? This elven master, how did he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sail saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, uh, until I complete Witcher armor of Grand Master quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. Quite a story. Tell me where to look for those diagrams. Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school of the wolf, griffin, cat, bear, and manticore. Which should I start with? Uh, well, I'm currently wearing the cat stuff, so tell me about that. Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome Delaunay, the ducal armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time he was working on new armor for the ducal guard. A witcher from the school of the cat offered to sell him diagrams for a full set of gear. The diagrams would have been helpful indeed. The diagram you saw, was it really a witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. It's a shame Delaunay didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up, afraid the Witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. Possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, Delaunay disappeared without a trace. I would have searched his former home for clues, but it has fallen into disrepair, and it is simply too dangerous there. All right. Well, let's hear about all of it, sure. Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Aton. I remember him well. My master liked him, helped him find a safe yet well-paid contract. A few years ago, an archaeological expedition arrived in Toussaint from Castel Gropia. They questioned my master about the elfin ruins at Termes. He warned them of the danger there, and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termes. I cannot say if there is any truth to this, but both the scholars and the Witcher disappeared without a trace. Boy, these are some stories. The Griffin. What can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago. 
But my master remembered him well. This Witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as his colleagues were. He had taken on a contract at Fort Usa and required better gear. He showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, and was never seen again. Apparently he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It said he left in a rush, so he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa. But you may wish to search them. Okay. Tell me about the bear. Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tien Sail took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bear head medallion that uh, hung from his neck. I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much coin. True, this one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo Vineyard, where a building had just collapsed. Time passed, the bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, the Witcher had indeed accepted a job. Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. All right, well, let's get to the Manticore then. School of the Manticore. Probably know the least about it, though once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him, a witcher named Merton. He made a poor impression on my master. He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sahil slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. He would conduct no business with a drunk. The Witcher, however, failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze-fueled brawl with the Ducal Guard. He was arrested and sentenced. Bastoy Prison, where he was held, well, it's been a ruin for years. Still, you may want to start your search there. Holy cow. All right, well, thanks for the info. Farewell. Good luck on the path. Well, that uh, should give us quite a few new quests. Huh. Can we go in his door here? We cannot. This is Beauclair, not some Okay, so we got a bunch of new quests here. And uh, they're under the treasure hunts. So we got a scavenger hunt for a Grandmaster Manticore gear. Grandmaster Ursine Gear, Wolven Gear, Feline Gear, and Griffin Gear. Just for fun, let's see where they are on the map. Manticore is way up here. Ursine Gear. Uh, over here. Feline Gear. Holy cow. Way up here. And... Wolven gear. Over here. Boy, going all over the place. And finally, griffin gear. Would be... Where? Over here. Okay. We're not going to do that right now. Uh, what level are these quests anyway? These are level 40, so we should be able to start on those sometime soon.
But uh, let's go ahead and switch back to the uh, contract that we're doing right now, which is Till Death Do You Part. I want to go and search for this house. That is the dotted line that we are following right now. Oh, but there's another quest here. Nice tune. Closed? Why, we wrote an entire day to see it. You're a cheat, sir. And we paid good coin for the tickets. Give it back. Your tickets remain valid. You must merely wait patiently for the exhibition to reopen. Hmm, what's this all about? Please disperse. The exhibition is closed. What's this about? Oh, Lapiota, give me strength. I can't bear this, please. I believe I've been clear. No presentation today. Oh, wait. Are you not that famous witcher, Geralt of Rivia? I believe I have work for you. What kind of work? Work related to the monument to Reginald Aubrey. The matter is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Unless I can say no more at this stage. Interested? Sure, just tell me what this is about. The statue. Just tell me what's the problem. A picture's worth a thousand words. More, I dare say. Come with me. I'll show you. Here it is. Our pride and joy, Reginald Dalbury. A giant among lovers, a poking, puncturing swordsman, and atop all that, an unrifled oh tickler of harps and other organs. <laughs> so what's wrong with it? How should I put this? <laughs> it's lost its jewels. <laughs> oh my gosh. Somebody stole the testicles off a statue. No ordinary statue, mind you. The sole monument made using a cast of the great Reginald's own genitals. Certified and authenticated. Sprung directly from his loins, they grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. All who buy a ticket, that is. Thus, you must retrieve those stones. So that's why he was turning all the people away. They've all come to stroke his virility, but the virility is missing got my attention. Now tell me about this Reginald, all you know. There's so much to tell. Legend has it he and the architect Faramont planned and laid out Beauclair. Hmm. Impressed already. In particular, Reginald took great pains to devise escape routes for lovers caught with their pants down. Literally and metaphorically. He later made frequent use of them himself. Not out of fear, mind you, but to avoid having to kill his rifles in duels. Got any suspects? Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized <laughs> pouch, everyone's a suspect. Who would not want it for himself? Any idea when the theft took place? It must have been mere hours ago. I guided the last group through the exposition quite recently. Stones were very much in place. Need to look around. Might find a clue or two. Do what you must. As long as you return grasping Reginald's stones. <laughs> Without them, Beauclair's entire tourist sector faces trying times. Trying times. Okay. You shall be whole again soon. That is one interesting quest. Let's take a look at it. This is a pretty low-level quest, really. Goodness gracious, great balls of granite. A local art curator asked Geralt for help in a matter concerning the statue of Reginald d'Aubry, a local legend and national hero. Since the matter was of a delicate nature, he asked the Witcher maintain absolute discretion. Geralt accepted the contract, not knowing he was in for quite the shock, when the details of what he was to investigate and why they were made known. Why and why were made known. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, you get the point. Uh, 
This one on the map is uh, right nearby. <laughs> well, I mean, the theft just happened a short time ago, so we may as well do a little bit of um, investigation while we're here. We'll start by examining uh, the statue itself. Saw marks are straight and clean. Precision castration, I'd call this. Okay. Presti precision castration. Oh, oh, what do we hear? Dried blood stain. A dried blood stain. Don't worry, Reginald. Don't worry. You shall be whole again soon. Oh, something over here. Diamond saw blade. Hmm. Perpetrator's tool. Fancy. Anything else? Oh, here's something. Piece of coat fabric caught on the nail. Heavy on cologne. Smell it'll lead me to the thief. All right. Well, it looks like we're doing this quest now. I wonder if he has anything new to say. It will all work out. It must. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Um. Just want to see if there's any other clues around here. Doesn't look like it. All right. Let's follow the scent. Geralt's quite the bloodhound, you know. <laughs> this is Beauclair, not some flea witter. They like to say that. Let's keep going. Ah! Ah! Okay. How far do we have to go? Uh, Excuse me. Say grief. The beast, you a spy. Tell the commander. Sift leads Whoa. to this door. Okay. Well, we are to enter the house. <laughs> what you doing? Oop. Sorry to interrupt, Oop. I guess. This this is not what it seems. <laughs> Word of honor. I, I, I tripped, rolled, tumbled, and landed where she already lay. Juice, that's not him. I, I swear, this is all an unfortunate coincidence. A series thereof. What? <sighs> that's not my husband. You mean, not, not your husband? Who are you? And why are you in my home? Out, now, or I'll summon the guards. Hmm. I don't like your tone. Watch your tone, Gramps. Just here to talk. <laughs> Gramps. I... Uh, I believe we have nothing to talk about. Oh, we do. We do. Just to kick things off, you're in great form for a man your age. <clears throat> I, I eat well, start the day with a glass of wine. That preserves a body wonderfully. Interesting. Might try it. Say, ever heard of Reginald Dobry? His statue. <laughs> Everyone in the city's heard of it. Reginald's a paragon, a national hero. A hero, you say? That's so. You see, well informed, Hughes. Maybe you know who stole Reginald's testicles. I. Uh, I can explain everything. Uh, this. Rosalinda! Uh oh. I know you're in there! You had that fancy pants of yours! Oh no, not him too. This really is not my day. Ooh, look at this guy. Got you, you rogue! Prepare for a shellacking skeleton! What the love's this? <laughs> Rosalinta! One I could forgive you, but two at one time! Wait, got nothing to do with this. <laughs> Take me for a fool! I'll teach you to fish in another man's pond. Uh, go home. Ah, got no time for this.
this. Go home. Yes. That'll be best. I, I'm done here. I didn't want to fight him. It seemed like it was coming to that. I don't know you. That would have gone horribly for me had you not intervened. I didn't do it to save your skin. Thank you for saving my skin. Mm-hmm. So, time to talk. <sighs> Rosalind, my dove, please allow us a moment. All right. I admit I stole the stones. And you will never believe it. But they work. Today, Rosalinda and I were three times and counting. Three times? Impressive. Isn't it? At my age. That's more than the entire last decade. All the same, you stole those stones and you gotta return them. Listen, perhaps we might strike a deal, hmm? Let me keep the stones. I'll pay you. Grant me this, I beg you. They... they've made me young again. Uh... willing to lend them to you? Fine or nope? Um... Well, this may lead to... something else. I'm curious to see what this deal is. Perhaps I... I could lend them to you for one more day. What would you say to that? A day is three more rumps at the least. You've a deal, sir. Well, that was awfully nice of Geralt. <laughs> Geralt looks like he feels really good. Really, really good about himself there. Well, there's quite a few here. Boy, they went right back to it. We're supposed to wait a day and then come back. And that's exactly what we're going to do, because I'm going to end my play session here. When we come back, we'll go back in there, we'll grab the stones, so to speak. And then we'll bring them back. And then, um, we'll get back to that quest that we started on when, when I started this episode. So, a lot of stuff to do here in Toussaint. And I'm having a lot of fun doing it. I'm hoping that you're having fun following me along. If you did enjoy this episode, won't you let me know by leaving me a like or a comment. And if you're not a subscriber, won't you please consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I sure do hope you join me again in the next episode.